welcome back to the videos. Welcome to a beautiful morning in the northeast. I'm with Chris and Jimmy, and they're a bit upset with me because I was very, very late for today's ride. So, sorry guys. This is day two of choosing the wrong bike for the job. Yesterday, big fat mountain bike with mud tires, not that much off-road. Today, road tires. I wanted to be faster because my legs were smashed after yesterday. Well, as you can see, we are not riding friendly terrain. Maybe the tires have worked because, uh, well, the guys are gone. Plan is keep riding this direction into the Pennines, head over to Waskily Way and Parkhead Cafe, which uh, I don't know if Chris has ever ridden before, so be good to show him what is one of the best rides you can do around here. The bike hates you, Jimmy. Is it? Is Why there is mud? It is there mud all up my back? Yeah. Fuck's sake. Oh shit! Oh god! It's been a long time. What have you been up to? Uh, I've been recovering from a shit injury. Oh. I call it a shin injury because it kind of was a shin. Uh, big lad. What kind of fuck are these monsters? Have you not been this way before? No. Hey, yeah. What do you do? I've been throwing paint at bicycles. Oh yeah. With a catapult and sponges and planning stuff for next year, which is why I'm up here to talk with Jimmy and Emily about stuff for next year. That's what we've been doing. Uh, it'll involve riding bikes. Go on, give us a spoiler. Uh, I'm gonna ride a bike. Maybe fast, but far. Don't commit to fast. Don't, as it's I said, always a mistake. Maybe Trust fast. Me. Do you want to ride to Switzerland? Yeah, when? I don't know, next year. Yeah, yeah, keen. Yeah? Okay, deal. It looks, it looks like ice. Whoa, is that a real dog? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I also do uh, voiceovers for uh, Crufts. I do it for the dog channel, for the dogs. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> It's shockingly realistic, I'll admit. They pay well for my talents, my friend. Yeah, How, what do they pay you in though? Dog treats or? Uh, Bonios. Oh. My beautiful brand new camera I've ruined. Oh. I don't know why. I forgot how muddy it was on this path. It's pretty fucking muddy. It is, isn't it? Because it's got there's a lot of like paths and gravelly bits. It is a gravel path. That's why it's got paths and gravel bits. It's only that mud. Because the next bit's actual loose gravel, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Impossible to slip Well, no, it's, but it's grit. It's what the grit roads with. <laughs> Is this where we end the ride? Yeah, we walk from now. <laughs> I don't think we're getting through there. The snow is fine. It's the it's because it actually ha it's when did it last snow like a week it's ago. not snow is it it's, it's quite hard. Yeah. yeah these bits are fine these beak if you, do you remember last year when we came up after all the snow had finished and this stuff was here for like about two or three weeks after the last snow do you remember it's because it's so, high, so these bits it? are going to be there for fucking ages yeah a day to get in there just be careful you might break a leg <laughs> oh he's <laughs> gone He's fucking dead. The man which is like, oh, I feel the cold when it's 30 degrees is now sitting in snow an hour and a half from home. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I wasn't expecting a fucking torpedo. Well, bad idea. that was a really bad idea. We did not make it to Parkhead. We're now riding back, and the positive thing about that is that it is downhill almost the whole way back. Which is weird, considering Jimmy lives on a hill as well. How, did, the how, top of how does that work? Yeah. Actually quite happy we're turning back early, because my legs are absolutely smashed since yesterday. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you missed a bit. Come on, man. Hello. Hello. Where are we going? Sainsbury. Oh, these videos are just full of exciting stuff recently. Like this tinsel. How Christmassy you, does our house look? You chose the tinsel, actually. I did, yeah. I wanted to buy a giant Santa view in there. The people opposite us have four, or maybe three, 
giant reindeer right outside their house. They might watch these videos. They might do. To be fair, I feel like we can't have an opinion on what their house looks like because it actually looks very nice, but also they are constantly staring at our house where there is a giant white wall that has fallen down in the middle of the garden. It basically just looks like a building site, so. And a garden full of weeds. If there's any gardeners that want to come and just like do a garden thing, I would be so happy like these. Do a garden thing? Like make it In nice. exchange for money. No. Let's <laughs> just hire a gardener. No, I don't want to pay them. They would have to just want to do it. <laughs> oh, what a deal. Who could say no to that? While we're on the way to the shops, I thought I would mention that GT85, who are a sponsor of this channel, are hosting a competition and they wanted me to tell you guys about it. Basically, they're giving away a bicycle. It is a mountain bike and an 18 inch frame. So if you are that size or would like to win it in time for Christmas and give it to someone, uh, then you might want to enter. You need to follow them on one of their many forms of social media. So either Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and find the post on one of those relevant platforms and uh, put your entry underneath. I will put all those details in the description down below and a link you can use to find it, which will explain the terms probably better than I am right now. In any case, there's a bike up for grabs, so you'd probably be interested in it. You should enter. Would the bike fit me? I have no idea. I don't know how big an 18 inch mountain bike frame is. I don't think I'd like mountain biking if I'm completely honest with you. Oh, come and try some with me. Hey, you do some sick jumps, it'll be well good. Uh, I'm all right. Cheers though. We have dinner and it's not breakfast. Ooh, I have nothing to say, my brain is mush. I want an update and the viewers would like an update about your running. Did you destroy me in a run the other day? Yes. yes. How far have you run now in total? I mean, in one go. Uh, for viewers who do not know, Daisy is preparing to possibly run a marathon because she's entered the ballot for the London Marathon, which is a very, very long way. Yeah. What is it in kilometers? 45k? She's only been doing it a few weeks, but she's already managed to run 5k much more successfully than I did. In fact, you then did another 4k like three days later. So you're definitely um, creating that conditioning that your legs need, regardless if you have cardio fitness, like your muscles just need so much extra work to get used to it. I'm doing, well, I suppose to be yesterday. But I'm doing too many long runs and not enough short runs, so my legs still feel really tired, whereas my cardio feels okay. I need to do less longer runs and more shorter runs. Well, that maybe means I can join you on some. I'm excited to. In any case, 5K is your longest run. You probably have to do that like 10 times to do a marathon. That sounds f***ing awful. <laughs> Carb loading. Chocolate donuts! Oh, for Jimmy? Yeah. Probably give him anxiety. First day back from Spain, he ate a donut. A chocolate donut. No, what, really? Yeah. Maybe so staged it all. So you guys like worried. Don't, don't be worried. He's a big boy. Big boy! He's actually very small. 